This is the anti-Markovnikov edition of water to an alkene. And this reaction is both regioselective and stereoselective. So I'm deliberately drawing the alkene that we're going to use here in such a way that we'll be able to see both of those aspects. So the first thing I would do with my alkene is I would make sure that the two groups that are cis to each other are both wedges or both dashes. Okay. And the other one I'm going to make it a dash. And I'm going to draw in the hydrogen back here so I can see it. So that's how I want to see my alkene. And when you do an anti-Markovnikov addition of water to an alkene, it is a two-step process. The first step will involve using BH3 or B2H6 in an organic solvent. The one that I typically use is THF, but you may use others. And that first step will result in the Markov or sorry, the anti-Markovnikov addition of the boron and the hydrogen so that you end up making an organoborane. Once you have the organoborane and you isolate it, you add the second set of reagents to the organoborane. And that would include peroxide and a form of hydroxide. The potassium is not so important. You can have any cation you want, but you must have a hydroxide. So in order to understand how this reaction actually occurs, we need to talk about boron chemistry. And I hope we remember a few things from class. 